age domains and exact match domains. They've each made me millions of dollars. And they're both extremely powerful when it comes to SEO. When I think of age domains and exact match domains, it's kind of like... Money, 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 money. Ah, oh, shit. Didn't realize we were uh, back from the editing here. That's embarrassing. Obviously, I'm not here to wow you with my singing abilities. I think if singing was my career, I would be uh, homeless. Luckily for me and you, that's not the case. And I won't put you through any more pain with my singing, I promise. We are here to talk about age domains and exact match domains because they both made me a shit load of money in my SEO career. And I've definitely noticed as I've been doing more of these videos that people are starting to ask questions about when to use exact match domains, when to use age domains, and kind of compare the two. So yes, I actually read your comments. So make sure you subscribe and comment with feedback and questions. All right, so I'm going to give you all the answers you need to age domains and exact match domains in this video. Should you use age domains or should you use exact match domains? Bad news. It depends. I hate that answer. But the good news is I'm going to clear that all up for you in this video. So let's start with exact match domains. Now, if you're a student of mine, you know, you know that I've been preaching about the power of exact match domains for well over 10 years now. They are undeniably powerful. And if you're a viewer of this channel, you've likely seen or heard me talking about them by now. With proof, of course, how powerful they are. And I've always taught that keyword in domain starts as a powerful ranking factor. And then, of course, as you get more links, that power starts to multiply. So let's just take the term make money, which I recently covered in one of the videos on the channel. All right, so if I do a quick search for make money, Let's go check out the first page really quick. So we got Google at number one with 3.2 million referring domains. Number two is Forbes with 1.4 million. Three, Apple, 5.9 million. Nerd Wallet, 147,000. Entrepreneur, almost 300,000. MakeMoney.tech, we're gonna get back to. Time.com, 680,000. And then lastly, Save the Student, 25,000. Now we go to MakeMoney.tech, 300 referring domains. So that's almost 100 times less referring domains than the next smallest site on the first page, which is Save the Student. They have almost 100 times less referring domains. How are they able to do that? Because they have an exact match domain, and that is the exact thing I'm talking about with the power of exact match domains. So just like that example that I just gave you and many others I've given you on this channel, Keyword in domain is an extremely powerful factor. But let's also look at the other end of the spectrum. So I did a quick search for domains that are currently available for auction as far as age domains go. And I picked a random one. I just want to show you the power behind it. All right. So this site I found is called americansolutions.com. Now this site has 670 referring domains. Let's go take a look at the backlink portfolio here. Now, if I organize by domain rating, we can see they have a lot of really strong links. They got Wikipedia, New York Times, The Guardian. They have bbc.co.uk, Archive, Wikipedia again, Business Insider, NPR, HuffPost, TechCrunch, Wired, Time.com, LA Times. They have an extremely powerful backlink portfolio. Now, they have over 600 referring domains here. And as I scroll down here, you see we're still getting very strong sites, Economist, ZDNet, Fox News, Slate, Rolling Stone. This is an extremely powerful backlink portfolio. The crazy part is you can get sites like this for like a grand or two, sometimes even less if people miss them. And what you have here is like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of links already in place. Not only are these links in place, but these are aged links. That means they've been in place a while, so they carry more weight to them. The longer a link has been around, the more weight it's going to carry. Because if, it, if it's been up for a while, Google gives it more credit because that means it must be a more credible link. So what you see here is a highly powerful backlink portfolio. And what we could do is buy this site, put it up, turn it into a different site, but we still get to utilize all these powerful links that are going to the site. So after talking about both, let's go through the benefits of both age domains and also exact match domains. Now, the obvious benefit of exact match domains is that you can rank 
with much less links, right? As we saw with the make money example, you can literally rank with 100 times less links uh, than, than the next site on the first page. And again, the power of your exact match domain is going to multiply as you get more links. So exact match domains or EMDs are unmatched when it comes to this aspect. Now let's talk about age domains. And let's use that americansolutions.com site as an example. Now, if we got this site at auction, we're getting a site with a ton of authority with a snap of a finger. And at the time that I saw this site at auction, it was only $500. The bid price was only up to $500 with a day left. Even if that site goes for three, $4,000, which likely will go lower than that, that is an absolute steal. Because as I mentioned in the screen share, if you built those links yourself, it would cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Not to mention on top of that, the thousands of man hours and the years of time it would take to get that accomplished. And literally all of that can be accomplished with a click of a button and a couple grand likely in this case. Pretty fucking magical if you ask me. Now let's talk about the drawbacks of each. With an exact match domain, obviously you have to start from scratch. Even though you have to build less links to rank, you're still gonna be spending a lot of time and money building links, especially in any niche that's somewhat competitive. So when it comes to an exact match domain, most of the time expect to have to put in a lot more time and money overall. And of course, you're gonna usually need to wait much longer to see results. With age domains, you can rank very quickly because of that pre-built authority. But there are drawbacks for age domains as well. The first is that it can take some time to find the right age domain. Sometimes it's days, sometimes it's weeks, sometimes it's months. It just depends on what you need. Now, the second drawback is you never know exactly how the age domain is going to react. Now, if you do what I teach, many of the times you will get favorable results with your age domains. But, I mean, sometimes good-looking sites end up being duds. And then sometimes not-so-good-looking sites end up being like a rocket. So I, I guess you can say age domains is kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Although many times you do get something good if you do it right. And then the last drawback for age domains is that you're going to be paying more upfront. But the cool thing is that you can always sell back the domain if things don't work out the way you want it to. You know, I've had cases where I've, I've paid like, you know, $600 for a site and I've sold it back for like six grand. But I've also had cases where I've bought a site for two grand and I end up selling it back and only get 500. So sometimes you can make money selling them back and then sometimes you can lose money selling them back. So now that we know kind of all the major benefits and drawbacks of, of each age domains and EMDs, let me tell you what I do. So if you're talking about less competitive niches, typically I'm going to go for an exact match domains. I'm talking about low competition. And a lot of the times these days, that's going to be for like a local site. When it comes to affiliate sites, I'm almost 100% of the time doing age domains. The affiliate space is just so much more competitive. So let's do an example here. Let's say we could build an exact match domain and likely get on page one with like 50 good referring domains. That's not a ton of links, but you know, it's still going to cost you like low five figures to get this done. And it's also going to take you months of your time. Not to mention, the site is still going to take a good 6 to 12 months plus to rank where you want it to rank. Whereas, on the other hand, with an age domain, we could easily spend, you know, $500 on a site that has 200 referring domains, and we can rank within a month. And of course, we may not be able to find a domain with our keyword in it, but usually the, the extra authority will do the trick as long as the domain is close enough to the niche that we are attacking. So we've spent way less money, we've spent way less time, and we've ranked way quicker. And we've gotten results quicker. That is the beauty of age domains. So when it comes down to it, I use exact match domains or EMDs mostly for local or very low competition niches. Or there may be cases where I find a very profitable keyword and I just build like some sniper sites that are EMDs. For the most part though, those cases are pretty rare these days because even those terms are usually more competitive. So age domains are definitely my go-to like 99.9% .9 of the time when it comes to affiliate sites. And I have plenty of videos on the channel on you know age domains, how to find them, how to get them, what to do with them. And I have more coming, so make sure you subscribe. Also, you can check out the linking provider that I use to kind of power up my pages once I get these sites up in the description below. No one beats him. He's the best out there.
by far the best link building service on the entire planet, and I stand behind that. All right, drop me a comment. Give me some video suggestions below. I always like doing videos on what you guys suggest or just any general comments. And make sure you smash that like button. I'm out.